Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our second lesson on a given form three mathematics topic called sequences and series. So today we're looking at our second example, which is a past case equation tested in 1998, paper one, question number 10. So it reads that the third and the fifth term of an arithmetic progression are 10 and negative 10 respectively. So the word respectively simply means in that particular order. Therefore, uh, the third term is actually a positive 10. So we have uh, the third term. So the third term of this particular uh, AP, we are given as positive 10. And of course, the fifth term is actually a negative 10. So the fifth term uh, is equals to, uh, the fifth term of our AP is equals to negative 10. Then you are told that this is an arithmetic progression. It is an AP and therefore we must use the formulas for the arithmetic progression and not the formulas for the uh, geometric progression. So in part A we are told to determine the first term. Remember first term is usually denoted by a small a and the common difference which is usually denoted by a small d. So in order for us to find that we are going to uh, use the formula for the nth term. We know that the nth term of a given AP is given by uh, the first term, then of course plus the number of terms minus 1, then into bracket you multiply with the uh, common difference of that particular arithmetic progression. So this will give us, we are given that the third term is positive 10, therefore uh, the third term uh, will be given by, uh, the third term will be given by uh, A, which is the first term, which is not given, then plus the number of terms, of course, when we talk of the third term, the number of terms will be 3, then minus 1, then we multiply with the common difference. So, but we are told that this particular third term is equivalent to uh, positive 10. Therefore, this one is equals to positive 10. So, if I simplify the equation, I'm going to have A, then of course, plus uh, 3 minus 1, I'm going to get positive 2. Uh, 2 multiplied by D, I'm going to get uh, 2D, uh, which is equal to a positive 10. Therefore, this will be our first equation. Then we are also given that the fifth term is actually negative 10. So this will be uh, the fifth term. Uh, we have already uh, seen that our fifth term will be given by uh, a, then of course plus the number of terms will be 5 because we are talking of the fifth term, then minus 1, then we multiply with the uh, common difference d. So this will be uh, equal to because we are told the fifth term is equals to negative 10. So if I simplify the equation, I'm going to have uh, a, then of course plus uh, 5 minus 1, I'm going to get 4. 4 times d, I'm going to get uh, 4d, which is equals to negative 10. Therefore, this will be uh, my equation Roman 2. Therefore, to solve for the values of uh, a and d, we are going to use, uh, uh, that is, we are going to use either elimination or substitution a method because we are having two simultaneous equations. So I'm going to start by writing the uh, second equation which I'm given as a then of course plus uh, 4d which is equals to a uh, negative 10. Then the first equation, equation Roman 1 was uh, a then of course plus uh, 2d uh, which was equivalent to a uh, positive uh, 10. So this was, was equivalent to positive 10. So if I use elimination method, I'm simply going to subtract the two equations because uh, A will get eliminated. So A minus A, I'm going to get 0, then plus 4D minus 2D, I'm going to get positive 2D, which is equals to negative 10 minus 10, I'm going to get negative 20. So I'm going to have 2D uh, being equal to negative 20, then I'll divide through by 2, I also divide through by 2. So the 2 and 2 will cancel out. Therefore, our value of D, which is the common difference, will be negative 20 divided by a 2, which is going to give us negative 10. Therefore, the common difference of this particular uh, arithmetic progression is negative 10. Now, from there, I'm going to substitute either in the first equation or in the second equation to get the value of A. So, I'll say substituting, uh, substituting, uh, substituting, uh, that is d is equals to negative 10. Let me substitute in uh, the first equation. I'm going to get the following. So our first equation was a plus 2d 
uh, is equals to positive 10. Therefore, where I have uh, uh, D, I'm going to substitute with negative uh, 10 that you have gotten here. So I'm going to have A, then plus a 2 into my D is negative 10. Then, of course, this one is equivalent to a positive 10. Let me separate my working with a straight line here. So I'll draw that particular line here. Then I continue with my working. So we are going to have the following. So I'm going to get a, a then of course, a 2 multiplied by negative 10. I'm going to get a negative a 20, which is equals to positive 10. So the value of A will be a 10. Then of course, I'll take this negative 10 towards the right hand side. If it crosses equal sign, it becomes a positive a 20. Therefore, the first term is equal to a 10 plus a 20, which is equal to a 30. Therefore, we'll conclude and say that the common difference, therefore the common uh, difference, uh, the common difference uh, was equal to uh, the common difference. Uh, we got it as a uh, negative 10 and the first term, uh, the first term uh, which is usually given by A is equal to uh, 30. So that was part A of the question. Then we move to part B of the question. Uh, so in part B, we are told to uh, find uh, the sum of the first 15 uh, terms. So that is uh, Sn, the number of terms. We say that Sn is equals to uh, n over 2. Then, of course, into bracket uh, 2a. Then, of course, plus n minus 1 uh, into bracket uh, d. So let me wrap the first part here so that we can uh, work uh, use it to work a uh, part B of the question so in part b we are saying that uh in part b we are saying that sn the number that is the sum of terms uh, is equals to n over 2 uh, then into uh, 2a then of course plus n minus 1 uh, d then you close the uh, larger bracket so because we are told to find the sum of the first 15 terms we are going to have s15 uh, because the number of terms are 15 this will be uh, 15 then of course divided by 2 then into bracket a uh, 2 multiplied by a so a is the first term which we have gotten it as uh, to be 30 so this will be a uh, 30 then plus the number of terms of course uh, are 15 in this particular case so this will be 15 minus 1 then into a uh, bracket then we multiply with d which is the common uh, difference that we have found it to be negative 10 so multiplied by uh, negative 10 which is the common difference then of course we close the larger bracket so that means uh, s15 uh, will be equal to if you take uh, 15 divided by 2 you're going to get uh, 7.5 uh, then into bracket uh, 2 multiplied by 30 you're going to get a uh, positive uh, 60 then of course plus here we are going to have uh, 15 minus 1 that is 14 14 multiplied by negative 10 you are going to get uh, that is negative 140 so this will be negative 140 so this will give us uh, 7.5 then of course uh, into bracket uh, we are going to have uh, 60 uh, then of course plus multiplied by minus you're just going to get minus 140 uh, which is going to give us a uh, 7.5 then of course into bracket so if we take a uh, negative if we take positive 60 then we minus 140 we are going to get the answer as a uh, negative 80 so this will give us a uh, uh, negative 80 so this is negative 80 then if we take 7.5 multiplied by negative 80 uh, multiplied by 7.5 uh, we are going to get the answer as uh, that is negative 600 as uh, the sum of the first 15 terms. So the sum of the first 15 terms will give us negative 600. Then we look at our third example, which is also a past case C question tested in 1991, uh, paper 1, question number uh, 10. So the question reads that a man deposits his money in a saving uh, bank on a monthly basis. So each deposit, we are told that each deposit exceeds the previous one by uh, 750 Kenya shillings. 
So this one is simply what we are calling the a common difference that each deposit it exceeds the previous one by 750. Therefore, uh, the common difference is actually a uh, 750 Kenya shillings. So if he started by depositing, so starting that is actually the first term. So our first term A is equals to uh, 1500. So if he started by depositing 1500, how much will he have deposited in 12 months? So they want us to find the total amount of money uh, that will be deposited in 12 months. So this one si is simply the sum of the uh, first uh, 12, uh, the sum of the first 12 months. That is what they want us to find. We said that the sum of uh, terms, because uh, this particular progression has what you are calling a common difference, it means that you are dealing with what we call an AP. And therefore, the sum of terms for an APSN is given by N, of course, over 2, then into bracket uh, 2A, then plus N minus 1, then we multiply with the common difference, which is D. So if I substitute, I'm going to get the following. So the sum of the first uh, 12 uh, terms will be given by uh, 12, then divided by 2, then, of course, into bracket uh, 2 multiplied by the first term we are given as 1500, so this is 1500, then of course plus uh, n is the number of terms which are 12 in this particular case, minus 1, then we multiply with uh, the common difference which we are given as 750, so we multiply with uh, 750. So this will give us uh, 12 divided by 2, I'm going to get positive 6 into bracket, uh, 2 multiplied by 1500. I'm going to get um, 3,000, so this will be 3,000, then plus, of course, 12 minus 1, I'm going to get 11, then multiplied by 750, then I'm going to close the bracket. So uh, let me separate my working using this particular uh, straight line here. So I'm going to get, so S12, uh, S12 will be equivalent to uh, 6, then into bracket, uh, 3,000, then of course plus, uh, let me multiply uh, 11 multiplied by 750, I'm going to get uh, uh, 8250, so this one is giving me uh, 8250, uh, 8250, then uh, close the bracket, so this will be a 6, then of course into, uh, if I take 8250, then I add uh, 3,000, I'm going to get my answer as 11,250. So this is 11,250. Uh, then of course multiplied by 6. I'm going to get the answer as, so times 6, I'm going to get 67,500. Therefore this is 67,500. Uh, so you're asked how much. Uh? That means we are dealing with money. So S12, so the amount of money after... Uh, 12 months will actually be uh, shillings. Uh, we are going to have 67,500 as uh, that is the amount of money deposited in 12 months. So thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. So in our next classes, we'll be looking at 10 marks uh, questions on this particular uh, topic. So until next time, this is Kain Tushan Academy.